Hi. Again, good morning to all of you. And, uh, this is my uh, video response to this uh, evil, satanic, uh, blasphemer lady. You evil woman, I don't care who you are or what you are. You're a lunatic, idiot lady. You don't believe in the existence of God, and yet you are using his name. Your preacher says God loves evil. So you should too. What an Egypt lunatic lady you are. Fool in the sight of God. It's no wonder the Bible says the preaching of the cross is only foolishness to those who are destined and bound to be tormented in hell. I'm telling you, you will surely be burned in hell. I'm telling you. You will not escape the wrath of God. You will be burned in hell. Okay, Black Jack uh, Zensei, I hope Satan will come and curse me very soon. I have enough of this stupid world. Well, Blackjack Sensei, I do not blame you, sir. This is a fallen race. I cannot blame you if you are going to send that command. But I am telling you, sir, there is still a chance. Do not forget is that God loves you so much. The reason why you are still breathing and alive is that God is giving you chances after chances. Why don't you try God, sir? Jesus said, all of you are heavy laden. We are laboring, come unto me, and I will give you rest. God is just a prayer away. All you have to do is bow down. Humble yourself before God. Try Him. Give Him a chance to change your life and give you this joy and peace. I am telling you, sir, you will not be denied. Try him, Mr. Black Jackson. Say he is very much willing to help you and to forgive you. Okay, Rapmatic, what is soul? I already explained this, Mr. Rapmatic. Soul is your emotions, soul is your personality, is your will. Okay, now your soul is eternal. Your soul will not die. There are only two places where you will spend eternity, Mr. Rapmatic. Either in hell or in heaven. Believe this or not, accept this or not. This is the truth. If you will die today, Mr. Rapmatic, now, one second, and you too, you evil woman, who posted this God loves uh, evil. And all of you at ease and believers and markers of God, at ease! One second after you die, your body will be buried. It will decay, it will return to ashes, but your soul immediately will go straight to hell. And then in hell, there will be a big reunion. For all of you at ease and believers and makers of God. But the big problem is, I cannot promise that you will enjoy it. Being burned alive, I cannot promise that you will enjoy it. Where walls will cover you from head to foot. But one thing for sure, Satan will be there welcoming you. You will be burned. You will scream in pain. You will yell. There will be wailing and weeping. You will weep because of the pain. Because there is no medication. The pain is horrible. And then you will wail. Because of hopelessness. Once you get to hell. That's it. No more chance for you to escape. What is hell? Hell is a, it is a place burning with sulfur and fire. 
It is a place of torment. It is a place where there is nothing of teeth. Why did God create hell? God created hell for Satan and all his demons. Yes, he did not create it for you, human beings. But since you are so stubborn and arrogant, there's no other choice but for you to be born in that terrible place. God is offering you this free gift of salvation. He died so he could save us. But you are rejecting his offer. God made a way for all of us that to be born in hell when he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. But you are so arrogant, boastful, and stubborn. So therefore, what salvation awaits for all of you? Okay, Mr. P. Channel, I know my maker. They are my parents, Mr. P. Channel. Yes, you came from your parents. But let me ask you this question. Where did your parents come from? They came from their parents too. And so on and so on. So let's go back to Adam and Eve. They came from Adam and Eve. Now, where did Adam and Eve come from? They came from God. So therefore, God is your maker, Mr. P. Channel. He is your maker. And whether you like it or not, you will stand before him. You will cry and you will weep. That will be too late. All of you mockers, blasphemers, what salvation awaits for all of you? Your only excuse is that you don't believe it. I'm telling you, your belief will not change the reality. Whether you like it or not, you will still be burned in that terrible place called the lake of fire. I pity all of you. It's just a matter of time now. Hell. Hell. It's now waiting for all of you. Mockers and believers. Satan will all welcome you. In hell. Satan is for zero, zero 007. I hope I made myself very clear. No amount of money can stop me in preaching the words of God. Nothing. Nobody on this planet. I know my God, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The creator of this universe. The God who does not change. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Before it will be too late. Satan is again from you. I hate God. I want more evil in the world. Is that you? Still a human being? No. You are no longer a human being. You are totally possessed by Satan. Okay. Libras on the moon. Okay, again your question. What is a natural man? Natural man... Is the one who doesn't believe in God. Who deny God. So that means you are an unbeliever. You cannot accept God. Because your spirit is dead. You have a spirit but it's dead. So you cannot communicate with God. What do you mean by that? That means to say. That. Uh, you are dumb, bound. Destined to be born in hell. Now it's God is giving you this. Chance. All you have to do is what? Repent. Acknowledge God. And be saved through His blood. It's up to you to make the decision now. But I wish the part will be too late. You can't realize. And this evil lady who posted this God loves evil. So you should. Lady, I don't know who you are, what you are. But expect to be tormented in hell. That's for sure. That's 100% guaranteed. Be burned in hell for eternity.